Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video. I, I always say that. I always say I'm doing a quick video and then the video ends up being 20 minutes. But today I'm doing a video on what is in my bag. So as you can see, I already have my bag here. Um, and we're just going to go through every single item that's in my bag. Um, I don't think I have a super interesting bag. As you guys know, um, I'm on a surgical no. No, I'm not in surgery anymore. I'm on an IM rotation, internal medicine, um, and it's uh, and life has been a little hectic. So, what is in my bag right now is kind of reflecting the things that I need for rotations because this is what I carry every day. So a lot of it's gonna be like reference stuff and boring stuff that you guys don't really want to hear about. Um, but there are some essentials in there that I picked up because every girl needs her collection of things that she carries everywhere. Um, so that's why I have these things in my bag. Um, this bag I got from Target. I'm not, I'll try to pick it up, but I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna fake it because this bag is pretty heavy. Um, as you can see, it's a red bag. Um, I got this from Target. Um, it was very, very affordable. I think I got it for around $39.99, around $40, um, and what I, so what happened was I saw someone, um, another physician that has this bag, and I think of her as someone who has really good style. She's also really cute because she's got, you know, she has a baby, and um, so I can't disclose any names, um, but she had this bag in another, a different color. It was, um, like, block colored. It was... Uh, white, tan, and black, and it was gorgeous. I saw it, and I and and it, it it's a it's a business woman's bag because um, as you can see here, there's so many compartments. Um, so what I did was I went to Target and I saw this bag. I didn't ask you where it was. I was just like you know cruising along, doing my research as usual, and I went into Target and I saw this bag, and I was like, oh my gosh. So what do I do? Do I buy the same bag or do I buy the bag in a different color? So I ended up buying the bag in a different color. I, 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 I was, you know, I wasn't trying to be creepy because I don't really talk to her that much. We're not like biffles or anything. So I didn't want her to think like, oh my gosh, who is this girl like coming in carrying the same bag as I am? And she's just like copying off of me. And I don't like that when people do to me. So I just, um, I didn't want her to think anything that was weird. On, on top of that, she's kind of like my senior. So anyways, I got this bag in another color. I never thought I would have a red bag, but I do um because you guys know I don't really like the color red and then since I've said that everything I've worn was red everything I bought was red um but this bag is very professional and very classy I I can wear this bag with anything and it it's it's like a statement piece even though it's only forty dollars and that's what I love what I love even more is that all the pockets so I'm just gonna go the pockets really quick um there's a pocket in the front here, which is good for things you want to just grab really quickly. Um, and the zip is pretty smooth, as you guys can see. And then there are pockets um, on both sides of the bag. There's one in front right here. And then there's the actual big pocket in the middle. And then there's a, another pocket in the back. So I like to put like little, little things in here. Um, and then inside there's like that back pocket, which normally comes, um, in almost all bags. And then there's even like two little pockets for a cell phone and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. I love things with big, with a lot of pockets because you guys understand when we have a huge bag because I don't know why anyone would get a small bag, even though that makes sense. Um, I guess not, but um, you guys understand when you have a huge bag, things just fall into it and it's just a hassle. You're trying to find it. You're digging your hands in there. You don't know what you're digging into. It's like the bottom depths of the sea and then you break a nail doing it because you're just like trying to like find your things and it's crazy so I love a bag that has a lot of compartments in it um so yeah let's get started I'm gonna start first with I'm just gonna go from front to back so I won't forget yeah. anything so I don't even know what's in here so this is gonna be a surprise for both of us yay <laughs> Kleenex. <laughs> I, just, I'm, I just carry tissues around just in case, you know, like you get all snotty and you don't want anyone to be looking at you and talking to people with a lot of snot because that's not cool. Um, 
This I got, this is like a, one of those rechargeable battery thingies. I got this because we had Hurricane Matthew come through and I didn't know if I was going to like run out of um, not have any uh, electricity in the house. So I just got this. I heard you can recharge this a thousand times. So, but it comes pre-charged. Um, so I thought it was pretty useful and I wasn't, I, I, I've seen many people with this and I never, I, my phone doesn't really die anyways, it lasts pretty much throughout the day. I'm on my phone and by the time I'm home, I, I'm probably at 30%, so that's still pretty good. Um, but I, do, and I've never really used this since I bought it, but I have it in here just in case, because you know how we get as women, we prepare for the worst, worst, worst scenarios ever, so this is one of those items and then I have my favorite chapstick this is the Burt's Bee beeswax lip balm I just feel like this chapstick is like a staple I don't go I don't go anywhere uh, without it I have a chapstick in the kitchen I have the same one in my bedroom I have the same one in my bathroom I have the same one it, I, I just I just like put it in different corners of the house because um, you never know when your lips are gonna be chapped I feel like this is the worst feeling ever um, in this compartment, I have my stethoscope, so that's like, you know, it's a stethoscope. Um, and then I got this little tea bag thing. Um, I carry around a tea bag just because it's kind of for like a, a temperature thing. I'm really cold all the time because indoors um, here they put on the AC. Um, so what I do is I carry a tea bag so I don't have to go and buy any tea, like even though tea is only a dollar or something, but um, I can just go to the cafeteria or whatever and just ask them for hot water and then it helps me to get warmed up. Um, and then I have this bag. It's um, my Ipsy bag. I believe this Ipsy bag was from a long time ago because I stopped subscribing to Ipsy. But um, I got this bag from Ipsy and this is um, stuff I put in here that's for things that I don't want to fall out into the bigger bag. So this bag is like the smaller bag in the bigger bag. They're just like little little miscellaneous things that you know it's gonna fall out because it's like so little. Um, but most of this is cosmetic, I think. Um, the first thing in here is the Mario Badescu skincare. It's the facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. This is pretty popular. I know a lot of people use this. And for me, I don't really use it to set my makeup, but around the time of three, PM, you know that afternoon like um, what's it called what's it called just say it it's fine because I just messed up I'm not sure, I'm not sure. the afternoon the afternoon slump that happens at 3 p.m. Um, I get really really tired especially if I had a big lunch and uh, so what I do is I have this rose water for me, it's to spray my face and it really, really freshens me up. It probably freshens my makeup up too, which helps, but it freshens, um, it's kind of like, you know, when you um, eat your, when you chew gum or something and it, and the mintiness helps you get more awake. Next thing is this Gerard Cosmetics. This is the color Serenity. Um, I am not crazy about this formula. It is a very good, good formula. It's very buttery and it's very smooth. I don't know if it stays on my lips all that long, but it's kind of like a mauve pink. Um, but the reason why I have this is, I don't know why, whatever, I, I just don't like being in situations where I have nothing on my lips because my lips don't have that much color to them. So you don't want to look ghostly. So um, this is just that emergency lip um, it's a liquid lipstick that I like to put and it gives me some color to my face and I like it because it's smaller than the other li liquid lipsticks that I own so um, I'm able to you know squeeze it into my bag um, this is the elf mineral infused mascara I like to um, I mean this mascara is not my favorite, but I got this for free and I figured I could just have like a mascara just in case anything happens inside the bag if I need to do any touch-ups or anything. 
it's a pretty good um, mascara. The wand is like, um, it's like a plastic wand. So it really, really separates your, your lashes. So when you're walking out and you have like a clump of whatever um, mascara you have, um, I can kind of declump my lashes with that mascara. So it's really, really good for that. Um, this is a tampon. It's I don't know what the brand is, but you know you always need this in your bag. You never know when that time of the month is gonna hit you. And um, I like this brand because it uh, it doesn't look like a tampon, even though I don't know if I'm waving this around, they probably can figure out the shape of the tampon. But I don't know. I just like this brand. It's nice and it's colorful. Next is one of my favorite things ever. This is the I can never say this brand. I think it's L'Occitane. L'Occitane? L'Occitane? Please let me know how. Is it the first one, L'Occitane, or the second one, L'Occitane? Let me got, let me know, guys. Um, but it's their almond hand, um, what is this? The uh, It's their almond hand lotion, and I like it because it's tiny. I wish I can bring with me my fresh, um, the Philosophy Fresh Cream hand lotion because I like I actually prefer that one better. Like I said, it leaves a silkier feeling, but this one just smells so amazing that I like to carry this around. Um, it's, um, you know, you guys know this brand and this is probably one of their popular smells. Um, it comes in like the shower gel and like the oil as well. So I like to carry this and you know what? Like when I do carry this around or I put it on my desk, uh, last year I would be studying and my friends would come over and they would just use all of it. So I actually have a couple on hand just in case. This is a highlighter just in case you find yourself in a situation where all your words are black and you need to highlight some. <laughs> um, gum, because you know my breasts be smelling because I love eating garlic and I have to have gum around. <laughs> Next thing is um, just a hand sanitizer. I picked up a lot of these um, from Bath and Body Works. They have all types of smells. This one is a Japanese cherry blossom antibacterial hand gel. This is just pretty nifty because it's little um, and I work with really sick people, so that's really good for that. A, this one is the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. It's in the color O Snap. I have this um, again because, like I said, my lips are very ghostly and they're very, very pale. And since I have a liquid lipstick, the Gerard one, I kind of needed a non-liquid lipstick one just in case my lips are really, really chapped and really dry. I don't want to put like a liquid lipstick on because it will be even more chapped and dry and then it will just be crusting off. So I have this just in case I want to feel more um, hydrated on my lips. Then I got another lip product, like how, you know, I'm sure if you're a woman, you know what this is like. Uh, we just like have a gajillion lip products laying around because um, you're just like, your worst fear is like having cha chapped lips or something. This goes all the way back to high school, guys. This is a Blistex Lip Medics. I know one of my friends in high school started using this and I've been obsessed ever since. I remember one time I went to Walgreens and my splurge was buying like, you know like the pack that they have um, at the checkout counter, there's like 10 of them. I, 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 I bought it and um, I was like so obsessed with it because it really, I don't care what anyone says, it really does a good job with hydrating my lips because it has like a eucalyptic smell, eucalyptus smell. Um, there are other lip balms that I've, I've started using and they're nice but this one I feel like it is like legitimately the best thing like this was the original lipstick in high school i know everyone was using the smackies and the smackies after a while they would leave your lips with like like a white film it was disgusting but if you needed to rejuvenate your lips this is where it's at nothing is better than this and as a 26 year old woman i still believe in the power of the plastics cheers there are so many products in this little baggie. I feel like this is like survival kit right here. Um, I got this pan. It looks like a pan. No, it's the things to check people's pupils, you know, just in case you're on cocaine and stuff. So that's that. Um, lots 
of all scrunchies for sure lots of lots of scrunchies you never you know you see this like it can get ah oh <sighs> okay it can get pretty hot with all this hair so i always make sure i have little scrunchies around yeah. It looks really good so far, baby. Um, I started getting a really bad runny nose when I started working with kids, and I, I think it was viral. So I got this nasal decongestion thing. Um, it's like the phenylephrine spray or whatever. You snort it up your nose. Um, I still have it in my bag just in case I do get a runny nose, and I don't know why because I just love putting things in my bag that I don't need and I carry around my whole life. Um, all this baggage that I have. See what I did there? I just got this and it worked really well, but someone told me you can't use it too much because you can get like rebound, like it could come back worse or something like that. So I wasn't using it that much. Thank goodness I got better. The last two things I have, another lip product. Go figure. This is the Vaseline Lip Therapy um, and it has like a rosy uh, smell to it. And it also has like a rosy tint, obviously, as you can see, it's not the normal one. I thought this was so cute. My friend recommend my friend had this and she um and I went to Walgreens and I saw it and I just thought this like little tiny little thing, like it fits into your little pocket. It's not too big. Um and it doesn't hydrate your lips as well the as the Blistex does, but um it's pretty like convenient due to its size. So that's why I got it. And then last but not least, in this pocket at least, um, I have, I think this is Burberry Brit. I got like the one ounce, one fluid ounce um, bottle just because sometimes if you're rushing out the door, you don't know if you're going to need like, like some, um, like a spray of just like a quick perfume. So you don't, sometimes when I'm wearing something nice and I don't have perfume on, I feel like I'm missing something. Um, so this is just nice because like, you know, it's little, it's tiny. So I bought the small bottle just for this, like, and it's also really good for when you're traveling. I literally use this, um, every day when I was traveling in Europe. So I kind of got sick of the smell. Um, but, and as you can see, you know, there's only like this much left, but it's a really, really nice smell. It's like, uh, powdery but very like classy smell as with most of the Burberry perfumes my favorite perfume from Burberry I think is the Burberry the B I love that smell I'm not sure if they make it anymore but um, it, it was like it was like released um, I think like in the early 2000s but not a lot of people know about it I think it's because all the other smells are more popular, but that one is my favorite. Next, um, I got this Smart Water Bottle. I do have a regular water bottle, like a Nalgene, but um, since Hurricane Matthew came through, we bought a ton of these Smart Water, like these big bottles, and they're really good. Except now I have like 20 of them and we don't know what to do with them. So I have like 10 in the fridge right now. And um, I've just been taking them every day because they have like a good amount of water in it. So I don't need to refill because when I drink like the regular bo water bottles, I feel like I take two sips and they're already gone. So um, I got that. This is my white coat. I'm not, I have no... There's nothing in here, just like a bunch of pens. I'm pretty proud of that, but yeah. Um, no reason in showing you guys that. Next thing I got here are these socks. This is pretty weird. Um, I don't know anyone who carries socks around, but like I said, I get cold really, really easily. So I carry these really fuzzy socks with me. I don't care if I'm wearing heels or whatever, but as soon as, 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 I'm, as, soon as I am sitting down, um, and the draft is just going like crazy. Um, I carry these socks around so I can put on my feet. So at least when I'm sitting and they're under the table, I have socks on. I do switch it out every once in a while and wash it just in case you were wondering because the smell would drive me insane. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, these are really, really helpful in those situations. Um, next, I got these glasses. Um, I've worn these in some of my pictures, I believe. Um, I'm just gonna stay wearing these while I do the rest of this video because I just love these. They're like this cat eye uh, sunglasses. They're so comfortable. I got these from Forever 21 because I was like trying to find some, buy, 
obviously tried shopping and um, uh, buying something from Forever 21 and I was at like the $48 mark or something and I needed like a dollar and some change to get it to free shipping and these glasses were $1.80 and they have been doing me so well I know everyone like you know gets obsessed with like all the Burberry um, sunglasses and the Dior sunglasses and stuff like that but I don't mind I don't care like I purchase really really cheap sunglasses because I just throw these things around and I don't want to you know spend three hundred dollars and just like and I sit on sunglasses all the time too where I throw them in my bag so I'm not gonna spend that much on sunglasses I love these they look really chic like you can put this with any outfit and it looks like I don't know it just looks like you are already in a Vogue ad so for $1.80 girl that's worth it that's more than worth it got my keys in here got this book that is a medical book so you know that's really boring and I know you think like I already have enough things in my bag but we haven't talked about my wallet <laughs> um this is my wallet it's from Tory Burch I just got this little puff today I thought it was really cute because it's like a fox I've been trying to find these little puffs something to just like fit onto my um my wallet or something because I thought they're cute and like they're totally in and everyone has like wears like hats with like a little puff and you know I wanted a little puff too and um, this is cute. I got this from Francesca's today. Um, yeah, and it kind of matches. It goes with the color because cream and, you know, these are all like warm colors. This wallet is from Tory Burch. It's not your traditional wallet. It's not your traditional wallet because it's kind of like, it's kind of like everything, okay? It is a crossbody, so it comes with a chain. Like these things up here, it connects to here and it comes like a chain so you can wear it as a crossbody, but you can also use it as a wallet. And for me personally, I like a wallet that when I, um, you know, like when I keep this bag in the car, sometimes I don't always carry this bag with me. I just like take my wallet when I'm going out to eat um, something really quick or whatever. Um, I like this wallet because it is like a clutch at the same time. So it's like a wallet, a crossbody, and a clutch. So it like is so versatile. And uh, what it does, and there's also this little pocket in the back. So what I do is I slip my phone in this pocket. So I have a phone that's already attached to my wallet. So I'm not carrying like 20 different things. All I'm carrying is my keys and this wallet. Um, and there have been many times where I'm like, oh my gosh, where's my phone? And then it's already in this wallet. So um, that's really, really good. This is from Tory Burch, if I haven't already said it. And it has this gold trim, which I think is beautiful. It's just classy. Like the Tory Burch sign isn't everywhere. It's not huge. Like you don't know that it's Tory Burch unless you're like staring at it. Um, and it's a really versatile color. So what I love about this wallet, which is the same reason why I love my bag, is because I have so many freaking compartments. Like you didn't even think this had that many compartments until you open it up and you're like, okay, so this is the first thing, this is the first compartment, and this is kind of like a, you know, like secret. I guess like, because this bag, like these compartments right here, when you're closing the bag, um, you, this, th like stuff can still slide out through the, through the sockets, like on the sides, you know? So I like that this bag has a little zip, um, pocket right here so you can put change and stuff or or what happens is sometimes like if I'm wearing an earring and the backing of the earring fell off I can take that earring and put it in this compartment and it's all zipped up and it's safe so it doesn't fall out until I can go home and I can find another backing for the earring or what happens to me sometimes is I'm wearing lashes and I'm going out the whole day with them and all of a sudden my eye feels funky and I don't want to have those lashes on anymore and I'm just like tearing and stuff, all that, all that good stuff. Um, or if I just don't want to be wearing lashes anymore, I literally take them off and I put, the, I put them in this compartment so that they don't fall out of my wallet or anything. So that's really good for that. It's really good for stuff other than just change, okay? And then also, you didn't know this, but there's also another little bag, like another little compartment, um, pocket thing right behind this, you know? So there's something really valuable, like if you have your insurance card or, um, I mean, everything in here is valuable, but if there's just something that like, if someone were to just like look at your bag, you don't want them to see, um, you can put it in this little bag right here. And what I have in here 
is a sample size of the Too Cool for School Egg Mellow Body Butter. And I like this because, like I said, sometimes I take this bag with me without um, my big bag. And there's hand lotion in my big bag. But this little nifty thing is like a little lotion inside my wallet. And I have it just in case I have dry hands. Um, and I hate that feeling of having dry hands. So I have to have lotion and chapstick with me everywhere. Um, and then you have like two places where you can put, I've never seen a wallet that has so many places for your cards. Like normally with the cards, you only have like one little slot right here, but there are like eight slots on this side and another eight slots on this side. So that's awesome. And then as you, you have like the bigger compartments here and then there's another little compartment like at the back end of this wallet. Like this wallet is amazing. Um, and it kind of makes me sad because like the Tory Burch sign is kind of like, it's kind of like rusting off. I've had this wallet for about a year and I'm probably just going to go to the Tory Burch store and just tell them to replace the same thing, you know? And that's like one really good thing about Tory Burch. If you go to them and you're like, oh, like I bought these shoes and um, they kind of, you know, like the straps fell off or whatever, you don't even need a receipt. Like you can just tell them and they'll replace it for you. So I like that about Tory Burch. Um, even though like it's a little pricier, it's worth it because they will replace your used products and you don't even, even need to have a receipt with them, but they'll take it anyway. These are just like papers and notes and stuff that I have um, from when I'm taking notes and like learning more about my patients and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, this concludes this video. If you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I am one of those people that are super nosy and I want to know what's in your bag because it's always interesting to know what other people are carrying with them um, day to day. And especially us being girls, like we like to know what other products other girls are using. And if we're using the same products, we're like, oh yeah, like I use that too. And like, um, you know, or like what is life changing? What is something that you have inside your bag that literally makes your life so much easier? Let me know. Um, but yeah, this concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.